And welcome to the Rescue Rundown. I'm Dave Morris. Happy joined by Abby Wolf and this little guy, Summer, who's scampering away from me. <laughs> the Rescue Rundown. Uh, with our friends, the Central Oklahoma Humane Society. Abby, thanks so much for stopping in. Thank you for having us. Well, we're hoping to do this every week with uh, various little cats and dogs, uh, learning just about how to take better care of our animals and the various things that you offer. And let's let's just back up and start right there. Okay. Give us the overview of the uh, Central Oklahoma Humane Society. What do you guys do? Well, you know, we exist to basically prevent the needless euthanasia of adoptable animals. So in Oklahoma City, um, our local shelter is taking in 30,000 animals a year. Um, and yeah, how does that compare uh, with other cities of our size? You know, it's 30,000 a lot. We, we may lose a cat in this segment. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. Um, but for Oklahoma City, it's quite a it's quite a few animals to Good be taken in. by the way. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm skilled at this. <laughs> it's not your first time. Um, uh, but it's actually quite a few animals for the city our size. So we're working closely with our city shelter to make sure that animals aren't being needlessly euthanized and that all the adoptable animals in the city are finding homes. And we do that through adoptions and spay and neuter. The Humane Society, I believe, started in 2007. It did. And so what was the rate at that point and where are you guys at at this point and then what's your goal? You know, there's a thing called a live release rate and that basically means that the, the number of animals that are leaving the shelter alive. When we started in 2007, that was just eight short years ago, it was at about 25%, which meant one in, one in five or one in four were going, you know, were being euthanized or not finding a home. Um, and now we're almost at 70%, which is great, and it's because of true partnerships like the one we have with well, the Well, I was about to say, what made the difference there? And he's like, oh, someone's going up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> so know, what made the difference in that rate? The difference is, um, for us compared to other cities, we work really closely with the shelter. We're, we're basically, we exist to help them. So that true partnership um, and ability to rely on each other um, to make those numbers move in Oklahoma has made all the difference. <laughs> <laughs> he certainly has the energy. Uh, back to the Humane Society, what are the various programs that you guys offer? Well, we offer an adoption program. So a lot of those animals that we're pulling in from the shelter to our programs, we're finding the most adoptable animals and we're bringing them in and finding them homes, um, homes that we hope will last forever. Um, and then also to prevent the, the needless euthanasia and to be a little bit more proactive, we are spaying and neutering um, close to 13,000 animals this year. So that's just in one year. And um, all in all, in our eight short years, we've actually served 100,000 animals. So we're, we're making the numbers count. That is fantastic. <laughs> we're talking with Abby Wolf. This little guy is Summer, and we'll get to him in just a second. He's two months old and just, as you can tell, a bundle, a bundle of, fun. of energy. <laughs> um, how are you guys funded? You know, we're funded through private donations. Um, and grants. So, uh, if you know, if you're looking to help animals, I really um, thought he was getting away that time. <laughs> <laughs> we would we would be happy to have your donations, and you can do that online at okhumane.org. Okhumane.org is the website, uh, and people can help and volunteer as well, right? That's right. So we're always looking for volunteers and fosters. Um, you can volunteer with us, whether it's doing little things like washing dogs and getting them ready for their big adoption day, or or even going to events with us and talking to the public about the need to spay and neuter. We have all kinds of opportunities for volunteers and you can actually start there at okhumane.org slash volunteer. Now, how did you guys wind up with this little guy? You know, uh, this little guy was actually at our city shelter okay. uh, with its litter mates and it's the last one of the, the litter to actually find its home. So if I can put him right in the camera Little spot Summer here. is so cute and spunky. <laughs> yeah, plenty of energy. When when I was at the Humane Society yesterday visiting, he was in a, in a, you know, his little area wanting mm -hmm. to climb. That's right. He's a climber, and he really, really loves to have his face scratched. Yeah. I mean, he loves it. And right now, he probably won't let me do it because he's just having fun under the lights. Well, but. it's showtime. You know, he went Hollywood <laughs> on us. <laughs> um, you guys have a very cool program, and this was something you were telling about yesterday when I went through, and I filled out the paperwork as well the Meet Your Match program, which I think is a really good idea because this guy, ton of energy, maybe someone's looking for, hey, I want a kitten with a, a lot of energy, maybe just want a cat to come home to. Tell us more about the Meet Your Match That's program. That's right. So we are actually testing um, this program called Meet Your Match. It's an ASPCA program that basically helps make better matches and adoptions to help reduce return rates because, um, you know, 
we see quite a few animals, not only us, but other rescues across the United States um, being returned, and it's because maybe people aren't looking for the right kind of animal based on their personality and their home's personality. So you took the test yesterday. Took the test. I'd ask you basic questions like, you know, what is your home like? Do you have children? What's the energy level? Um, do you, you want know, the cat to interact well with other people? Exactly. You know, do, you, do, exactly. You do you entertain? Do you have guests? Yeah, basic questions that any pet owner should ask themselves, you know? And so we can actually match the pet's color with the, the adopter's color and to make better uh, adoptions. And it was purple, orange, green maybe? It's purple, orange, and green. Okay. And I think you were a orange. I was right in the middle, orange. Yeah, yeah, and you wanted a constant companion, I think. So you find your color, and then you find your personality type, and then we can find an animal that better suits you. It was interesting, especially for professionals. Uh, one of the questions on there was, are you looking for an animal that's perfectly fine handling <laughs> itself for nine hours? In other words, while a person's working or yeah. whatever. And a lot of cats can certainly entertain themselves or sleep all day. Yeah, I mean it's basically those questions that we want every adopter to ask themselves before they adopt an animal um, and we're just helping to make those matches a little bit better. Now we're testing it so uh, we'll see what it does for our return rates and, and what it does to make better matches but <laughs> I think he's, he's like, I just want to play. He just wants to play. <laughs> now you guys just do cats and dogs, right? That's right. We are cats and dogs specific. Um, we're gonna look to adopting out 4,000 animals this year so uh, lots of cats and dogs finding finding their loving homes. Well, very cool, very cool. This is a segment again. We'll we'll tape this every Wednesday morning at ten o'clock. Oh, <laughs> we'll try to hang on to all the animals that bring, that come in here. We'll have various cats and dogs. We'll be talking with this lady, Abby Wolf. She's with the Central Oklahoma Humane <laughs> Society, and we'll have an article in the paper every week as well. We've got a whole list of fun things that are coming up. Uh, the twelve days of Catmas, if you will. Uh, and you can participate. We're going to roll out something called um, the Rescue Rundown hashtag, I believe. That's right. Various things of that might be over Labor Day weekend, shoot a video of you and your pet, tag it on social media with Rescue Rundown, and we might include it in this segment, which could be kind of fun. Abby, thanks so much. Thanks Thank for bringing for in summer. Us. This little guy's a lot of fun. We're looking forward to Wednesday mornings now. All right, fantastic. Thanks so much. Thank and you. Uh, this guy will probably be adopted really fast. Yes, right? summer's going to be at the Adoption Center, 7500 Northwestern, right after this. So stop by and see him. All right, thank you very much, Abby, and thank, thank you, Summer. Thank you. <laughs>